Hey guys, back again. Welcome back to the Snagging Breakdown. I'm Orlando. We are New Home Quality Control. We're a UK-wide professional snagging company. We got 10 inspectors UK-wide. And uh, look at the size of these bananas. They're ridiculous. Right then, the Snagging Breakdown. Let's go. Hey guys, back again. We're in Scotland today and check out this absolute shocker. This deck in is seven digestives out of level. Look at this. Not a sponsor. And um, loads of people said, am I getting paid too much money because I'm eating galaxy uh, biscuits? Um, no, that is not the case. Um, so yeah, seven digestives out of uh, level. It's quite a lot. That's massively out. If it was one custard cream or a jammy dodger, that'd be fine. But seven digestives, that takes the biscuit. It does take the biscuit. Like I say, if it was one custard cream or one jammy dodger, I wouldn't mind. Because ideally, deck and you would have a little bit of a fall. But um, I think it was somewhere like 60 to 70 millimeters over two meters, which is just ridiculous. When you sit on that with your table and chairs, your drink's gonna be falling over, your, your scotch eggs are gonna roll on the floor. So, yeah, guys, you need to cut down on the biscuits. Now, moving on, this window still looks good, doesn't it? But if we have a closer look, we can see the original sill is all smashed up. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? But if we go back. Look at uh, this. A closer look, we can see the original sill is all smashed up. They've literally smashed up the uh, windowsill and gone. Nah, we can't replace this. It's too late to replace this. The house is supposed to be up for what? 100 years? 150 years? 200 years? It's day one before it's even been sold and you're already bodging it. What are you doing? Rip the window out, change the sill and sell the property to the client how they expected it to be. Not a bodged damaged what are you doing what are you doing what are seriously what are you doing it's a brand new property like if i sold you a car right and i wrote it off and then i put like a new body kit on it but underneath is all written off are you gonna be happy no probably not so why should you put up with a smashed front sill we've got an extremely poor finish near this front door the protection hasn't been removed everything's covered look at the state monster. of this we've got a vent cover missing to the frame look at that Site manager, right? Here's a couple of tips. When someone walks into their brand new property, they want to see that it's nice and clean, right? Not everything covered in dirt and excess mortar. These things are easy to fix, right? If someone stayed a couple of minutes after work, at the end of the night, that could have been cleaned, right? So don't say, that, oh, there's no time to do it. You don't want to walk into your brand new property that you spent over, I don't know, over 200 grand, over 300 grand, and see everything covered in dirt and water that's shocking that this garden wall's been poorly finished look at the state look at that point in in the shower we got a crack tile it's been they need to repoint that garden wall and they need to replace this uh crack tile filled with grout so i hope you weren't trying to get away with that and how would you like your kitchen floor sir i'd like the moon crater finish please they need to repair that floor um they might need to screed it just get it right why, why are we leaving the floor with craters in it? Like, what are you doing? Have some pride in your work. I really like the way that you can barely see these cables around the kitchen units. Yes, it's a great look. I Yet again, like some of these issues are so easy to see. I don't understand how they're left. What is going on? Site manager, please explain this and what is going on. I really like it. At another property, the Scottish wood butchers are at it again. Have like, look at it. Look at that and tell me that you've done a good job. Have a look at some of these. That is shocking. Who's the Winkle Tuna Spanner Melt that did this? The Winkle Tuna Spanner Melt? Sounds like a tasty baguette. That is ridiculous. And look what they've gone for under the bath. Yep, it's the apocalypse finish. Though. That is the apocalypse finish though. That is literally the epitome of the apocalypse finish. Look at it. Nice big hole in the wall. Looks like absolute dog poo. Yes. That is absolutely shocking. What they need to do, repair the wall. Hey guys, back again. We got so many issues with this property and winter is coming. Jesus, Jon Snow and uh, Daenerys Targaryen is going to be uh, arriving soon to uh, to fight the uh, the Night King. Starting off the garage roof. That's a Game of Thrones reference, if any of you don't know. But I hope you do know, because it's the greatest. Like the greatest show on TV ever. Each corner is unfinished and just left in an absolute... How has this been signed off, first of all? Like, it's obvious. The corners are missing on the roof. I think that's going to be an issue. Let's fix it, maybe. In a shocking way. They need to fix it. 
what's the rec how do they fix this issue they need to fix it that's that's how it gets fixed that is ridiculous look at this we got a crack tile here the dry verge is hanging off that by the way it was absolutely freezing and i almost got stuck in the van but everything's good so you know winner winner chicken dinner let's uh, move on that is shocking around this window we got an end cap missing they need to install the end cap the window frame is cracked so they need to fix it or replace it we got a failed seal to the right hand side of the frame so they need to reseal it if we have a look at the top of the frame it appears the brickwork opening it looks like the brickwork opening has been constructed too wide because we got a massive gap between the frame and the brickwork so things they could do they could replace the window with a larger window um change the brickwork to make a smaller opening or possibly center that window frame a bit better and you might be able to get away with the mastic seal that way it's been constructed too wide. The door protection hasn't been removed from the garage door, so that's going to trap water, and that will later corrode the bottom of the door. Like I say in the video, that will later corrode the bottom of the door. Um, I've seen it many times on properties that are two years old, where the bottom of the garage door is corroded because they wasn't aware that the protection needed to be removed. This intimacy. It's a simple fix, and when I see the issue on site, I do remove uh, the protection. But I always put it on the report because I want the site to know that they ideally need to remove it or they need to tell the clients that they need to remove it because no one knows about it. You don't really want the bottom of your garage door crawled in. The strip is damaged and it's just been filled with cork by the lock. Listen to missing strip is damaged and instead of replacing it like any normal person, they've just filled it with uh, cork. It could be fire mastic, it doesn't look like it. Looks of it, we got a mastic seal missing along this tiling and architrave. So, yes, again, a simple finish. Why was it not done? Who knows? They need to mastic seal between the architrave and the tiles. Pliant. The skirting's been cut short to the string and it's been filled with cork. That's so, that gap full of cork tells me that that skirting was already cut short um, at handover. So, it should have been fixed straight away. Not, that's not shrinkage. Brand new property. No, it's not shrinkage. So, how about cut the skirt in a bit longer it's a piece of skirting okay it's not a piece of like diamond or a piece of gold that can't be replaced or a piece of marble or a piece of it's skirting it's mdf you cut it you realize it's a bit too short you go oh i've cut it short you put that in the bin or to the side spare and then you cut another piece properly that is ridiculous ridiculous this hinge has been cut out poorly that is shocking uh top of this door is damaged look what they're gonna do is repair the edge of this door look at that this door is binding heavily on the doorstop so this is a uh, most likely national hickman um door hinges so you might be able to fix that by um adjusting the hinges if we go inside the room we can see we've got an absolutely shocking finish on the hinges so paint touch-ups there a step joint to the architrave that architrave um they need to just reset that joint the gaps around the door don't meet fire regulations look so what they can do is adjust the hinges the reason why the gaps around the fire doors need to be correct is because there's an intermittent strip around the door line in if the gap is too wide that intermittent strip when it expands in a fire isn't going to seal the door if the gap's too wide and if the gap is too narrow that intermittent strip isn't going to seal properly because it, it needs some space to expand uh, this this door lining is missing an intermittent strip how has this been signed off that's an how is that signed off though like you're obviously not checking your work site manager sort it out if you can't do it get a job elsewhere okay guys well that's the end of the video i hope that helped explain some of the issues um and how they get rectified if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it comment below and subscribe and until next time i'll see you later peace